welcome back to my channel and happy, happy Friday. It's a bit of a rainy Friday here, but nonetheless, it is Friday. So I wanted to hop on and let you guys know kind of how my week went. I did go ahead and record my weight in my WW app. My workshop virtually starts here in just a couple of minutes. Can't wait. So my week was okay. I would give it on a scale of one to 10, maybe kind of right in the middle out of five. My activity was decent. I did not get my three days in at Jazzercise. I have been busy, like I said, with real estate last week that I've been having grand plans of doing a Jazzercise on demand or attending one of the Facebook Live Jazzercise classes. And then I get sidetracked doing something else or my phone rings and I have to leave and go do something. So I think I did Jazzercise once or twice this week. And then yesterday I continued helping my husband out in our yard doing some weed eating. So I actually got in over 30 minutes of active minutes exercise yesterday, just kind of working in the yard. So I wouldn't say the week was a fail for exercise, but it certainly wasn't what I like to see, which is three times a week. As far as food went, it was rough. I was super hungry this week. I think it may be the week prior to my cycle, which is generally when I'm more hungry. The week of, I'm not. It's weird. Is anyone else like that? Or are you guys the opposite where you're okay leading up to, but during you're just starving? So I think that's why I had a bit more of an appetite this week. I did go over my points most days. I didn't go crazy. I didn't binge eat. I didn't eat a large amount of food, but I did go over my points, I think, pretty much every single day last week. Not by a lot, but nonetheless over a little bit. So it wasn't the best week. It wasn't my best WW week. This whole situation has kind of gotten to me. I've been a little stir crazy. I mentioned that on my Instagram yesterday that I just am stir crazy to get out and go back to normal or what's going to be the new normal. So this week was a bit of this, a struggle, but I have a game plan for next week. So let me go ahead and ahead, attend my virtual workshop and I'll be back to share what we talked about, my weigh in and my game plan for next week. <music> Welcome back. What a fun virtual workshop topic this week. Kind of a new one for WW and it was absolutely fantastic. This week's topic was called raise a glass. We talked about beverages, everything from water to soda to alcoholic beverages. We talked about how to raise a glass but for lower smart points. How to have some of your very favorite beverages, but make them a little lower in smart points. I think this is such a fantastic topic. It's something that I haven't seen WW address. I mean, we talk about water and things all the time, but giving us tips and tricks on how to have our favorite beverages and make them more point friendly, I think is fantastic. So there were five tips that WW shared with us today. So number one is focus on some savvy swaps. You know, I'm all about the savvy swaps. So choose a low point or zero point beverage, such as unflavored tea, in exchange for a beverage with points. You guys know I love kombucha. So if I'm going to have a beverage that has points in it, then I only like to do that once a day or not even every day. Because for me, I don't like to drink my points, my calories, whatever. I don't like to drink that. I'd rather eat that. So if I'm going to have kombucha in the day, all of the rest of my beverages, the rest of the day are going to be zero smart points. I guess with the exception of my coffee, that's a requirement. So swapping out a zero point beverage, if you're going to have a beverage with points for the rest of your day or your other beverages is a great savvy swap. Next is track your water. Did you know you can track your water in the WW app? I've been doing that and it's super fun because you get to see the water bar rise as you drink your water throughout the day. And I think that we think we drink more water than we really do. So by tracking it in the app, you're going to have a clear picture of exactly how much water you you are drinking throughout the day. So I love that there is the water tracking feature now in the WW app. So again, great place to track your water. And again, it's fun to see your water level rise as you consume water throughout the day. So speaking of water, do you think water is boring? Because you guys know that I never just drink plain water. I'm the girl who always puts lemons or limes in my water every single day. It helps me drink more. It's more satisfying. I enjoy it more. So do that. If you find water to be boring and cumbersome and you find your yourself not wanting to drink plain old water every day, add some funness 
to it. Add some fruit, some berries, some oranges, some lemons, some lime, some cucumber, and naturally infuse your water for zero smart points with some sort of flavor if that's going to help you drink your water a little bit more. There are also things like water enhancers, the Mio's, the Crystal Lights of the world. Those are great options as well. I would just caution you with those. A lot of those have a lot of chemicals and artificial ingredients. So if you are going to take advantage of water enhancers, if it was me, I would probably just limit those during the day, maybe not have them every day or not more than one a day. But of course, you work the program how you want to work the program. And to be honest, if it's getting your water in, then I would say that it's a win. Number four is huge, 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 huge. And this is to be mindful of what you're putting into your coffee, your tea. You guys, we can just bump up those smart points with all the goodness that we can put in our morning cup of coffee or tea. I have been a big proponent of the layered superfood creamer, but it is two smart points for one tablespoon. I also like the organic Valley creamer. And again, two smart points for one tablespoon. So just be mindful of what you're putting into your coffee and how much. I find the most accurate way to measure is to put it onto my food scale. That's going to give me the closest amount. I actually sometimes get a little bit more, especially when it's a liquid or a powder form. But be mindful and make sure that you're not putting six, seven, eight smart points worth of your favorite things into your morning cup of coffee or your morning cup of tea. That can be where our smart points can just be eaten up with all the goodness that goes in those beverages. And tip number five is work beverages that are your favorites that have smart points into your daily budget. Are you someone that likes to have a cold beer at the end of the day or maybe a glass of wine? Or maybe if you do count blended fruit, I don't count blended fruit, WW Rebel here. If you count blended fruit, work the points for that into your day. Don't deprive yourself of your favorite beverages. It's going to make your weight loss journey a lot harder. It's going to feel like you're on a diet, not a weight loss journey, a lifestyle, a mind shift switch. You're going to feel like you are on a diet and we're not gonna stick to something that makes us feel like we're on a diet. So make sure that you do still enjoy your favorite beverages, just work them into your points. Maybe that's when you can use your weekly points. If you want to have a glass of wine at night or maybe a couple of beers on the weekend, or maybe you want to have a high point beverage throughout the week, use your weeklies. If you can't work it into your dailies, use your weeklies. That is what they're there for. So those are the five tips that WW shared with us to help us work our favorite beverages into our day and be a little bit mindful of the points of our favorite drinks. So I thought that was a great topic. It's great to get some tips and tricks on how to do that because I've gotten a lot of questions about coffee since I transition to the clean approach to WW and how I'm working these creamers that are a little more points into my day. So way to go WW, fantastic topic. So let's talk about my way in. So as I mentioned, I did have a little bit of a struggle this week, struggle getting my workouts in, struggle with my food. I don't know why 100%, like I said, but I did have a little bit of a struggle this week. Now I have a game plan for this next week and I'm going to share that with you guys first. So my game plan for this next week is I have on my schedule in my Erin Condren planner. If you guys are interested in Erin Condren, there's a link down below for $10 off your order. I actually will be sharing the brand new planner that I got in a re upcoming video. But I, in my Erin Condren planner, I wrote in the days and times that I will be doing Jazzercise this week. I have three days scheduled. So I'm committed to that. It is in my planner. It is written in black and white. I am committed to those three days. I did leave the option for a fourth day if I'm able to work that into my week. I don't know what my week's going to look like quite yet. It's just been pretty busy for me, but I am committed, committed to three times this next week doing Jazzercise. I am also committed to honestly tracking all of my food this next week, staying within my smart points, kind of watching my macros. As you know, I do double track my calories in the Lose It app. I also double track my macros to make sure that I'm eating enough protein, fat, that type of thing, not just really going carb heavy. I am committed to staying within those specifications this next week, the entire week, with the exception of tomorrow, Saturday, which is the day that I use my weeklies. That is a commitment, my friends, sticking to it this week. So with that being said, when I stepped on the scale, I am up 0.4. Now, am I okay with that? Yes, because honestly, I expected, deserved maybe more than a 0.4 gain. I'm not happy that I gained, of course, because I've lost every week in May, but 
24 is not bad and I can certainly take that off this week and end the month of May because next Friday is my last weigh in for the month with a pretty good overall loss for the month. So that's my goal by staying within my points, watching my macros, doing my exercise, doing all the right things. I should be able to see a loss next week and end May with a bang. So that's the plan up point for this week. It is what it is. So I want to hear from you guys. How are you guys doing? How was your week? Did you gain? Did you lose? Was it what you expected? How are you guys doing at these final stages of quarantine? We're finally getting back or close to getting back to the new normal. How are you guys doing? I definitely want to hear from you. So check out the description box below for the links to my favorite things. Also the link to head over and join my Facebook group. We'd love to have you be part of our community over there. It is such a wonderful welcoming community. We'd love to have you. Also is the link for Erin Condren. If you need a little bit of planners in your life, definitely check out Erin Condren. I love it. It's amazing. And also the link to my favorite things, discount codes, and my website. So check out that description box below. If you're new, welcome. I do a weigh-in video every single Friday. So make sure you hit that little subscribe button and the bell located right next to it so you're notified when new videos are uploaded. You don't want to miss out. Give this one a thumbs up if you love these weigh-in videos and leave it in the comments how you guys are doing. I truly hope you're doing well. I can't wait to hear from you guys down in the comment section. Have a fantastic Friday and a wonderful weekend. And I'll see you in tomorrow's exciting, I went to a new store, grocery haul. Bye guys.